Uh, I'm Jeff Garner. I am responsible for global manufacturing for BioRad, which is a biotechnology company that everybody seems to think is the future of America. But uh, our industry outsources just as much as anybody else's does. And we outsource when we get lower cost. We outsource because the effective tax rate in the U.S. is uncompetitive with almost any other country in the world. And we outsource for talent. Okay, so there's, and I agree, the, the playing field is not level. It's not level, and the people that are most responsible are our politicians. So, my, and I agree that we should be putting pressure on them. But I guess my question is, why aren't they here now? I go, I spend about five times as much of my time with politicians, with politicians from other countries as I do with the politicians in the U.S. Politicians in other countries know that part of their job is to sell their country. And I appreciate the mayor of Cleveland joining us for all five minutes that he was here. But that's not enough. Why isn't Industry Week inviting the politicians to show up and give us some presentations about what they're doing to level the playing field. Doesn't that make sense? It, it absolutely makes sense. And I, I wish I could answer your question, but I can't. I can tell you that uh, I spend not nearly as much time in Washington on these issues as Mr. D'Amico, but I spend enough time there to know that it is very difficult, very difficult to get politicians to understand the, uh, the most basic elements. and and. <laughs> Well, I could probably get in a lot of trouble if I shared this following thought with you, but, but I will, okay? okay. Um, when I'm asked why is that, I, I give this answer. You know, you often hear of the United States that we have a government of the people, by the people, for the people. And I think a lot about what does that mean? Where did that come from? And if you're a history buff, as I am, you'll know that at the beginning, the early days, the early decades of our country, politicians were people who were professionals, worked in industry, lawyers, doctors, worked in manufacturing, who made a conscious decision to leave their careers, to leave their profession for a given period of time to serve their country in government. So you would have a manufacturing executive who worked 20 years in industry, decided he needed to do something for his country, would leave that industry, serve for four, six, or maybe eight years in government, and then leave and go back to his industry or his profession, okay, or his job, okay, producing, farming, whatever it was that he did. What that resulted in was truly a government of our people, okay? They understood the issues. They lived the issues. They knew what it was like to have a devastating crop. They knew what it was like to be in manufacturing and live through a terrible recession. They understood that. They knew that. Today, you know, we hear of the political career. People go into politics as a career. That is not how our country was started. And I, and I personally believe that that's, a, that's one of the reasons that it's so difficult to get politicians today, our leaders today, to understand the issues because they haven't lived the issues. Someone who goes to college, goes to law school, and I'm not negative on that, and goes into politics and stays there for 30 years, do they really understand what's happening out on your plant floor? Does it really, do they really understand the impact of you Clearly a guy who's concerned about America and America's future, I can tell that in your voice, okay? The fact that you have to outsource overseas. You're not happy about that. If he lived in your world and understood that, the chances that he would take, the chances are that he would take more aggressive action to fix it. Now, that, I want to be very clear, that's my opinion, it is not the opinion of Newcore Steel, okay? All right? That's my personal opinion. I believe that this country was founded by people. Think of George Washington. What did George Washington do? Do you know how hard it was for people to convince 
him. And at one point, they wanted to, to name him president for life. Are you aware of that? You ever read about George Washington? He told them, if that law gets passed, I will leave Washington today. Because he understood how important it was to have a government of the people. And you cannot have a government of the people when your government leaders are not from the people. They don't understand the issues. They haven't lived the issues. Now, that's my personal opinion. 